Hey Nagios community, Benjamin here, and this video is all about using Nagios XI's powerful and beautiful dashboarding capabilities. This is a great way to visualize the status of your hosts and services and all your monitoring needs through different dashboards you can design and configure. All right, let's jump into the interface and I'll show you just how to get started. Here we are in our Nagios XI home screen. We're gonna need some space, so I'll be off camera and also I'm gonna close this announcement and we'll now begin looking at dashboards. Go over here to the far left and select the dashboards icon. That'll take you to the dashboards home screen here. It's pre-populated with a getting started guide and some basic administrative tasks that are recommended if you're new to XI and getting it set up. There's also some server statistics here and also some information about the core component status and your monitoring engine process. We can also look at this dashboard template here under my dashboards and that just uses sample data and it shows you just some of the visualization capabilities of Nagios XI and its dashlets. I made a demo earlier and I just threw a bunch of dashlets in here for my BB map showing a bunch of hosts and their services and I uh, got some spline graphs here Got the Nagios processes mapped out here in my hypermap and some other graphs. So this is just one sample of how you can configure things. But let's start with a fresh one. Go over to Dashboard Tools and select a new dashboard and give it a name. We'll call this one something like Secret Lab. And you can choose a background color if you want to give it a specific color here. I'm going to go with Transparent. We'll Submit. Now under my dashboards, you now see the secret lab dashboard and it's blank and it's time to add some dashlets. Now there's two ways to do that. You can first find them under add dashlets here on the left and click on available dashlets. And that gives you the menu to browse from for all these different dashlets you can select. Let's go with one here under alert history. Now to add any of these dashlets, you simply hover over this up arrow icon and click add this to a dashboard. You can give it a relevant title and select a dashboard to add it to. And so you're gonna have more than one dashboard. So you always wanna make sure you select the correct one here, Secret Lab. Now we'll check that out. And here it is. We added our first dashlet. Now you can click on this bottom right button and scale it however large you want it. You can move it around and when you got it to a spot you like, you can pin it so it doesn't move accidentally. Now let's add some more. Now we can go back to this available dashlets page or within our current dashboard, we can select this three line menu button, click on add dashlet, and it loads a pop-up with those same available dashlets. And we can go through and pick one here. Let's choose a high chart dashlet. Because we're already on a specific dashboard, it pre-populates the correct one here, which is great. And we'll select a stacked bar chart. Let's check out our hosts. And let's check out our Linux servers here. Click Add. You can move it around wherever makes sense. Let's add another dashlet here. Let's go back to our high charts. Let's check out a spline graph check out host group and let's go with production and hit add there we go pop that there and let's add some more let's add a modern gauge dashlet for localhost let's monitor current load We'll add another one just like that for memory. Localhost. Okay, we'll pop those here. Okay, so this is the beginning stages of building out a dashboard. Now, let's check out some other features in XI that allow you to add other metrics outside of the dashlets menu into your dashboard. So, for example, let's check out some of the great reports in Nagios XI. You have availability summary, 
So wherever in XI that you see some data or visualization that you like, you can look for this icon here that says add this to a dashboard. You can click that and then select your dashboard and add it. And that's how you can get information from like the reports, for example, out to your dashboard. So we'll get our SLA data, add that to Secret Lab. Now, there's also a situation where perhaps your alert histogram doesn't have that icon, or even like your event log doesn't have that icon, and you want to get that in your dashboard. Well, in that case, you can go to these three buttons here in the top right and select Get Permalink. Make sure you select the whole URL and copy that. And then when you go back to your dashboard, this is a great opportunity now to use the wonderful dashlet called Custom URL Dashlet. So you click Add This. Give it a name, make sure it's on the right one. And then you paste your permalink right here under dashlet URL. Check any other settings you wanna modify and then add it. Now it will add your event log right into your dashboard. So you can put that down here. You can resize that as you need. And that's how we get some dashboards set up in Nagios XI. And you can deploy these in many different ways. You can set them up, make them full screen here, and just have them displayed on a separate monitor in your kitchen or in your lab or your commercial environment, monitoring what matters to you. All right, now you know how to get started with dashboarding in Nagios XI. Have a lot of fun with this. Make some beautiful dashboards with all of those great dashlets and graphs. And if you make a dashboard that you're particularly proud about, share it with us. Tag us on social. We'd love to see what you are designing with these dashboard features. All right, give this video a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And be sure to stay happy monitoring. We'll see you on the next one.